Triggers are a good way to input information into your calendar or your task folders. When you have items that you do sort of on a multiple times basis, if you have pets and you take them to the vet, you can set a trigger uh, for those vet appointments so that you don't have to constantly put in the information each time you set up an event or a task. So to create a trigger, you're going to go into your Manage menu and select Triggers. From here, you'll tap the plus sign button and you'll see all of the options that you have to create a new trigger. So I'm going to show you a trigger that I have created here. And this one is going to be for my, my cat's vet appointments. And you'll see that I've named it Vet for Kitty. And then I have my vet's address already listed here ready to go so that every time I create an event for my cat's vet appointments that is already inputted. You can select the words that you'd like to use to be able to type them into the title field and it will automatically bring up the choice to use this filter. You can set up an icon if you'd like to and obviously I've, I've used the kitty icon. Uh, you can select sensitivity for this if you'd like, if it's you know normal or personal, private, any of that stuff. You can also have it set to a particular calendar. In this case, I want to save it to my um, pets calendar that I have created. And then you have the rest of these options here as well if it's an all day event. Uh, the duration for the event um, can be changed here. Then, um, let's see, you've got if you're going to be busy during the event time, free. And then if you're setting this up for a task, you can choose to save it to any project that you'd like. You can set a context with it if you'd like. Any of these options here are available when you create a trigger. And now just to show you a trigger in action, let's say you have a vet appointment and you want to go ahead and get that set up. What you're going to do is create your new event and there are a couple of ways that you can use that trigger. One is to tap on this icon right here and then you'll just select your uh, vet and then it'll bring up all of the information and you can hit save or you can make a new event and just type in one of those key words. So if I type in the word cat here, it'll automatically bring up that trigger, bring in all of the information that I set, and then I can hit save. And when I tap on what I have to do for that day, you'll see that my vet appointment has been saved for me here.